Manpower Minister Dr. Tan Si Leng has cautioned the opposition against asking for data in Parliament that could be used to stoke vitriol and harm Singapore's social compact. He was responding to the leader of the opposition, Pritam Singh, who claimed that it's difficult to come up with alternative policies without access to official information. For instance, he said that data was not shared during the 2021 debate on SICA. That's a free trade deal between India and Singapore. Many of the questions that were asked, both by the Workers' Party as well as by the PSP, it was not just on the numbers pertaining to intra-corporate transferees, but you've also put the questions together on the breakdown of whether the jobs went to Singapore citizens that were born in Singapore or that were naturalised Singaporeans. Amongst other types of confidential information that was not readily released. And I hope that they were not due to deliberate efforts to frustrate our social compact. I believe that it cannot be the reason for the ugly xenophobia, the racial undertones surrounding Seeker. I think that's the point that I would like to clarify. I think in terms of the xenophobic elements which uh, the Minister raised, we don't want our compact to be disrupted and overturned because of these reasons. So to that extent, I think we are on the same page. From the point of view of PSP, in the course of all my debates uh, with, uh, with the government, is one, data is really not enough. I was the one who initiated the job debate in 2021. And the purpose of initiating that debate is to really determine whether Singaporeans overall has been affected by the foreign talent policy. But until today, would the minister agree that we do not have enough data to conclude with certainty that Singaporeans have not been displaced from the job market? I have consistently been providing the data. Now, perhaps he may not understand my overarching English, maybe the proficiency of my English. In fact, in my reports, as I've shared, for the year ending 2022, the number of resident employments, that means locals, right? Singapore citizens, permanent resident, resident employment has gone to even before pre-COVID days before 2019. In all of my interventions, in all of my speeches, I have consistently shared that for the foreign talent that have come in, it has resulted in an increase in the number of jobs created and employment opportunities for Singaporeans. And this is precisely my point to early on to Mr. Pritam Singh. When you want to go and dive into the data between whether that Singapore citizen is born here or born elsewhere and then become naturalised, or how many generations, this is the type of data we do not release. And I, I need to state I need to state this for the record because the Workers' Party never make a request for information on people born in Singapore, and so so I want to be very careful about that because that gets us into very dangerous territory. You say that you, we cannot get into the breakdown of those numbers because you don't want to differentiate Singaporeans, naturalised Singaporeans, locals, PRs, or that, and as a result, we can't get to the bottom where the Singaporeans have been displaced or not. Uh, Mr Leong, if I may, I uh, think Minister Tan responded by explaining uh, as to the employment situation in Singapore, as to how employment is being created. So I think that was his response to your query about the displacement and so on.